Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in uh, part 16, I'll show you how to solve the integral um, 1 over x to the 7th uh, plus 1 dx. This is a pretty sophisticated integral to solve, so we'll use this as like an appetizer, but yeah, I'll do this in part 16 um, to come soon. All right, uh, but here for this integral, uh, you can see the first so many steps. Uh, first, we can rewrite this integral as this. And then in turn, we could rewrite this um, as this. I'll fill you in one intermediate step. We could rewrite this as uh, integral of one over x to the fourth um, dx uh, divided by divided by um, divided by, um, and it's going to be x cubed plus one over x cubed, right? But then all I did is I took this and uh, subtracted and added an x squared to the numerator, which I can do because I've added a net nothing, right? And so same as this, right? This here is the same as this here. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, as soon as uh, that's clear, then uh, it's also clear that I can split this into two integrals here and here. Yeah, okay, cool. Now let's say that this first integral is called A, and let's say that this second integral is called B. Uh, and so we can work on the two integrals separately and combine our answers. Um, so for now, let's set aside integral b. So um, let's set this aside, which again, we'll um, work on shortly. Uh, but now this uh, is not equal to what's on the right side, which is only integral a. So let's pull this to the side. And what do we do here? Um, here, what we should do is a substitution, and the substitution is um, say that say that uh, u is equal to say that u is equal to um, this denominator here, which is x cubed plus one over x cubed. And if you do, then look at what du would have to be. Du would have to be three um, x squared, and then it will be minus three times uh, one over x to the fourth. Um, okay, and then of course times dx, um, and this dx here multiplies all of that, right? Okay, cool. Uh, now, um, if I wanted, then I could write that negative a third du is equal to, it's equal to uh, 1 over x to the fourth uh, minus x squared dx. Nice. Okay, so with this handy then, uh, we see that our integral a is going to turn into the following and that is integral a turns to uh, look at the numerator the numerator right the numerator um, this guy here is uh, exactly equal to negative a third du so we can uh, write the negative a third in front of the integral uh, but otherwise uh, in the numerator of this integral then we could just write a du so negative a third and then du okay du divided by what du divided by u because the entire denominator is what we said is u so then uh, this is going to turn into uh, negative a third the natural log of u but u is this guy right here so I'll just drag it into place so natural log of u um, and this completes uh, integral a uh, and so we just have left integral b to work on and then we'll be done uh, and integral b will go quicker because it's easier all right um, so integral b which we have to add to our answer to our integral a uh, will look as follows or we'll solve as follows um, this time the substitution is much more straightforward and what we should substitute is uh, v is equal to um, x cubed and then that means that dv is equal to uh, 3x squared dx. So then a third dv, right? A third dv will equal x squared dx. And with this handy, our integral b could be rewritten somewhere over here as follows, which is uh, we could write a third in front of the integral, and then our numerator just turns into uh, dv then with the third in front, written in front of the integral right and that's from this yeah a third dv is equal to x squared dx okay and then our, our denominator uh, is going to be our denominator is going to be um, 
what is it going to be? It's going to be this is v, so it's going to be v plus 1 over v. But then by getting a common denominator to this quantity here, right, this here, uh, we could write instead um, v squared uh, plus 1 divided by v. Uh, but then um, writing this here is the same as writing this. So I'd rather do this, yeah? Okay, and so finally, a last substitution, this time with w equaling uh, v squared uh, plus 1 will set us free. Uh, so dw will equal um, 2v dv, right? And so then 1 half dw, 1 half dw will equal um, v dv. And so we can replace this here by 1 half dw. And I'll combine the 1 half and the 1 third and turn the 1 third into a 1 sixth right a one sixth um, and then otherwise a one sixth and then otherwise uh, in the numerator we have dw right okay uh, so we have dw and then of course in the denominator we have w okay cool so the denominator is w okay got it um, and so and so then uh, what we have here for integral b is a sixth of the natural log of w, but w is uh, v squared plus 1. But then v in turn is x cubed. So uh, what we have is uh, v squared is going to be x cubed squared, which is x to the sixth uh, plus 1, right? Okay, there we are. So this is the answer to integral b, and so we can um, add it to our answer to integral a. Uh, and then plus a C, plus a constant C, and we're done, yeah? So plus here, and then plus C, and done. Um, so look out for uh, part 16, where again, we'll work on the integral of 1 over x to the 7th plus 1 dx, a much more difficult task, yeah? All right, cool. Keep watching and take care.